Yo, what's up everyone? And today's video is gonna be about bugs and silent nerfs which uh, BSG introduced with the most recent patch which they deployed on uh, 22nd of February. So, first of all, one of the silent nerfs was the jumping height. BSG either lowered the jumping height or they, uh, I guess, fundamentally or not fundamentally changed the way the jumping mechanic works. And right now it's uh, more difficult to jump in uh, the places which were uh, very easy to jump to in uh, the previous patch and like there are a couple of places on labs I found a couple of places on customs which I'll show you later and also an interesting thing that they also lowered the height of objects over which you can step so before the patch you were able to jump on um, on these flowers and then just walk over the glass into the stairs now you can't it doesn't let you walk over the glass you have to you have to jump And this is the second place where I noticed the nerf jumping. Typically when I enter dorms through this area, I uh, run, jump and crouch through this window all of the time. And it looks like this. And right now you can't do it. You can only do it from uh, close range while jumping and crouching. Like this. So if before you were able to run and jump like this, now you can't do it anymore. Alright, the second thing which I would like to mention is that items are becoming blurry I, w I don't want to say super blurry because they aren't super blurry but they're becoming blurrier if you put them into backpacks rigs cases and don't worry it's not you going blind it's actually game uh, not rendering the items properly so if we look at those two umps they're pretty sharp right now but if i put one of these umps into the case and we compare them side by side you can clearly see that the ump on the left is much more blurry and uh, it's pretty annoying for my eyes i don't know if it annoys you but it does annoy me so i hope this is going to get fixed uh soon tm all right, so the other thing which is worth mentioning is the fact whenever you spawn on the map and uh, you use a painkiller, there is a white blink which happens after you use it. I don't know what it's to do with. Uh, it's not a game-breaking glitch, but I thought it's worth mentioning it. Another thing which I would like to mention is that BSG definitely made the game more saturated. The colors are more intense. And I also feel like they added a warming filter as well, because some areas look warmer. And for example, some rooms, some rooms on laps which were bluish for me, they look more greenish for me, which also proves that they added a um, warming effect. I don't know why they've done that, if, they done, if that's done on purpose, if they're gonna get rid of that. But uh, if you don't like the way the game looks now, my advice is to go into the settings, into the post effects, and lower your saturation by a few points, and the game is gonna look uh, as, as it used to be. I feel like BSG lowered the distance at which uh, anisotropic filtering starts working. As you can see right there in the middle of my screen, there is a uh, difference between uh, the floor which renders properly and the floor which renders just as a white mesh. And if we go to settings and we increase our anisotropic filtering from, from off to on, which is uh, max, uh, you can clearly see the difference. And there's also another area on labs where I uh, seen that for the first time and uh, which made me think that something something is wrong. Another area where I start noticing that is the red room. As you can see uh, on the floor right next to the wooden box, uh, there's like a blurry line. I'll probably zoom in uh, when I edit the video so you can see it better. And uh, if we increase our anisotropic filtering to on, boom, that line disappears. And here we are. Next small bug is a hands uh, texture glitch, which I'll show you in uh, one of my clips. The way jumping works. But I... I also feel like there is something off with uh, cooling, because some lights on labs are not being displaced as they used to be. And the light right here is the perfect example. Boom. It's on. It's off. It's on. It's off. I don't think it was like this in the previous patch, but I might be wrong. Also, another area where you can clearly see the light difference is right here. Next bug happens only on factory and it's to do with painkillers and post effects. I have no idea how it works, but if you use a painkiller on factory, it actually changes your post effects. So after you swallow the pillow, your post effects will be changed. Boom, and the map looks completely different now. It doesn't annoy me too much, but I would also like to play with the post effects I currently set for me and uh, not another filter. So I hope BSG fixes this really soon, because for me it's really it's really irritating for my eyes. And I don't want to change post effects for every single map. Uh, yeah. 
Another small thing which is worth mentioning is that some rigs um, and some areas uh, in your client have a wrong, um, I, don't, I don't know how to, how to call it, like wrong, uh, wrong parameters, because as you can see, lines don't line up with the actual box. And that happens in a few places. It happens with rigs. And I think it also happens when you go into the rate. For example, right here, something is wrong with the box, as well as right there. All right, last but not least, the speed at which lamps flicker after there is a nade blown nearby was changed. I don't know, epilepsy warning, I guess. I don't have epilepsy, so I don't really know if this can cause any issues for epileptic people. And if you do have epilepsy, uh, or you know how, how it works, please let me know down in the comments below if this is actually dangerous or not. But nevertheless, it's really irritating, and uh, yeah, I think this more or less sums up our list. I managed to find this glitch within like, uh, sorry, like all of these glitches within uh, two hours after the patch. I don't know if there are any more glitches. Uh, I'm happy that most of the, well not most, like all of the all of the glitches are not game breaking, they just uh, like, they cause some inconvenience and I hope BSG fixes them soon. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, if you learned something new, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Also don't forget me to check me out on Twitch where I stream daily and uh, check my Instagram where I upload photos whenever I go out, meet up with the friends or eat something tasty. My Insta is uh, purely my real life outside the internet and it's not Tarkov related. Have a good one.